Christ, but every man in his what? In his own order. Christ the first fruit, at the word, they that are Christ at his coming. Come on. And I know we, they told us that's the rapture. We, we don't worry about it. We won't chase that right now. But anyhow, I can make it applicable for us. <laughs> Amen. For us immediately, it says, at the word, they that are Christ at his coming. But Christ the first fruit. We're, that's, you know what Christ the first fruit? We know that's Christ the head, the first fruit. But I believe there's Christ the body, the first fruit. James 1.18 says we are the first fruit of his own kind. I believe there's a new breed of people. Yeah. I believe that. I know it is. <laughs> See, because a lot of them is word in Greek, Christ that is coming, it's an aorist tense. So it, it's not, it doesn't have a regard for time. You already know we taught that before. Yeah. So it has no regard for time. So not only did it happen before in 70 AD, but there are some things that are happening in me. <laughs> yeah. Even right now, yeah. he's coming out of his temple. Oh, yeah. He's coming through you. Yes. And if he's coming through you, how is it that there's a... You ever heard the Blessed Hope? Yes, sir. And Titus talking about we're waiting on the Blessed Hope. Yeah. The appearance of a great God and, and, and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But anyhow, the, the great, the, the Blessed Hope, the word is epiphany. You ever heard the word? Well, it's a Greek word called epiphany. And you ever heard that said, I had an epiphany. You know, it's like something, he was kind of struggling with something. Man, I had an epiphany. It's a ha ha It's an awakening. It's not some grand thing that the sky is going to slip from the east and the west and you're going to hear trumpets. You can have an epiphany in your mortal body. You can have epiphanies when you come to service. I've been there too. I've had my epiphany many times. And it really means to make visible that which has always been there. It's always been written. It's always been scriptures. You read it before. Maybe in 1990, maybe 1995, maybe last night you read it. You come to service and, uh huh. Yes. That is connected to this. And we got to get the people to come in and bring their brains to church. Come on. Yeah. Says, I'm excited when I come in the house of God because I can have a uh huh moment. Come on. You know what a you know epiphany moment is? It's why you're sitting there and you say, I just had a V8. I didn't realize that. Had a V8. So you got energy. Wow, I just got an awake inside of me. You just awake. You just realize the dog. I got life going on inside of me. Amen. Yeah, it's one of those V8 moments. Yeah. Wait. Because you 